Ziyazibuza banya bantu benza ngani Ufunde nabo Usebenza nabo Papila impilo epezu Impilo gubo Ilula Kuena Gulu kuri gong Kune fiso etile Isi tuwa lo se nyoga Manja kosha ogunye Ikone inyoga ye mali Ibege enzi ni yotwa Ikwenzele izi mani Futi lega babu togotela Aina bunguz Sia tolaga ala Enel Bring House Ete gwin Noma Sisha yele gu 082-459-1816 Noma gu 076-55-55 5857 is making this video. We are situated in the building called Net Bank House Building. The whole video will be in English. I repeat, the whole video will be in English. This version must, must be English because there are things that you have said before and then it was in Isizulu. And most people in South Africa, they do not speak Isizulu by far. Uh, I've got a topic that says your birthday. I repeat, I've got a topic that says your birthday. Your birthday. Your birthday is very, very important because people, they celebrate birthdays as if they're celebrating their demigods. I understand. People, they celebrate their birthdays as if they are celebrating their demigods. Your birthday is about to kill you. Okay, let me do this. I, I'm inviting you as a human being. I'm inviting you as a person. I'm inviting you as a client. I'm inviting you to come to Babu Togotelatra for one thing, not for Isitwara, for steaming for steaming, if you are trying to procure anything in business, trying to procure jobs, secure jobs, do this, do, but it is not coming into form, not coming into reality. This is Babu Dawadala saying, I am inviting you to come and visit me. I will put you in my steam bath one day, 4,200 rand, and thereafter, you walk away as a different person altogether. When you walk away, you'll be walking away as a different person altogether. This is Babu Dotel inviting you. I need you to give you something. Especially people who are attending a CMA hearing, court cases, all those stupid things. I've got something for you that we are going to you need to be using. I've been using this thing since 20, 2008, I remember, 2008. I've been using the potent just for steaming. I repeat, just for steaming. If you got a case of hearing with CCMA, labor, labor court or what, come to Babu Togotela. I will give you something that will take it home and steam. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully now. I'll talk to you as a younger Bother not about my poor English, but I have to tell you because this thing, if I don't tell you, then somebody else will tell you lies. When I give you this tonic for steaming, if you got a hearing, do this for me. I want you to sleep and wake up next morning, bath, dress up as if you are going to work, do not put your makeup, and after dressing up as much as you are going to work, this is what you have to do. I want you to steam now with this tonic. I want you to steam now, steam now, steam now, and declare and decree that you've got no case, any evidence that is available, let that evidence disappear. You only steam one day. I repeat, you only steam one day. Why you steam one day? Because the case should end same day. You cannot be steaming seven days for a case that is going to sit one day and, and find you guilty. Steam one day... When you are going to uh, to that hearing or that case and then steam it. Good people, I love you all. And I've got something that I have to tell you about what is called <coughs> polygamy. Is it him? Polygamy, it appears as if it's something that is filthy. I, I, let me repeat. Polygamy, it appears as if it's something that is filthy. Do you know why? Because Westerners they wanted to introduce something that will necrotize the... I, okay, all right. My English is, is going worse now. Westerners, they wanted to introduce something that will necrotize the growth of Aphrodisian. 
Africans are the smallest population within the United Nations. You got no idea. I'm telling you, you got no idea. We are the smallest population by far. In Africa, the population is sitting at 1.1 billion. We are 35%. Tunisia, is, no, we are not listening to them. They are not listening. Where is Tunisia? Tunisia, it is not in Asia. It is in Africa. Africans are 5%. Mauritania, where is Mauritania? Mauritania is in Africa. You check everything on Google, you're so stupid. Where is Libya? Where is Egypt? Why are there so many non Africans in Africa there? In Somalia? 70% are coloreds. They're not Africans, they're coloreds. In Somalia, Africans are less than 10%. The rest are coloreds and, uh, and Asians. Angola, 60% are coloreds. 60% are coloreds. We are small in our continent. What about South America, North America, the rest of Europe, rest of Asia, the rest? Yes, there is why. Babu Dogodela says, let us go back into our roots and then augment Isi Tembo again, polygam. But when you are going to do this, you are not going to just do it for nothing. You must have a reason. I've got something that I give people to, to immense wealth. You need to have at least one or two wives in order to do that. Failing to do that, you must have wife and a girlfriend. But I'm not talking about a girlfriend, I'm talking about your, uh, 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 polygamy. Polygamy, I'll give you something. Let's say you've got a wife, and after you've got a girlfriend, that girlfriend has two children. What I mean two children? That girlfriend has got a firstborn, who is a twin. We've got a second one who's not a twin, which means that woman, she's got three children, and she's still your girlfriend. That is unethical. And your wife has only got one child who is who's 21 years now. And that woman, she's got like three heads that she's feeding alone. Even in your swimming pool, those three children, they cannot come into your house, into your double-story house, to swim into your swimming pool. You would rather let dogs swim into your swimming pool. That is unethical as an African. Cannot do that. Because your wife hates your girlfriend with the passion as much as hating your children. Now, as Babu Dogotela, I am in young, I'm not a pastor. I would give you a potent that you will use so that your first wife will start to adore with adoration, true love, agape. Your wife will start to love the children and much as your wife will start to love that girl who is a mother of three now. That is why we are saying, we as Africans we must go back to our basics and use what we know best. Umuti, Setlari, Muriana, Muri, Mushonga. We have to go back to the roads. If you got that challenge, I urge you, I urge you, I urge you to come and see Wabu Dogodela. Reason why, I don't want you to travel just for that because you may end up in Swaziland, you may end up in Mozambique. You'll be embarrassed. Uh, I once went uh, in a district called Pemba in Mamboni, in Mozambique. And when I was about to come back again, and the old man wanted to give me a list in Shangane. And he wrote a list. And he said, I must please buy this moti for him in South Africa and in Korea he, it, to Maputo. There's someone in Maputo who will, will, will Korea that to his house in Pemba. And I, once in, I was once in Switzerland. I learned that those countries, both countries, they only source meat or herbs here in Nongoma, in a place called Emona, or in Johannesburg, in a cause place called Faradale, no my my. They don't have what you've got. So why you have to live here and go to them if they, they come to us and collect and then they sell us the same thing that we left in South Africa? I've got proof. I'm a traveler. My passport is inked all over. I'm a traveler. I've got proof. That those people, they source immunity in South Africa by far. They source immunity in South Africa by far. Then you don't have to go there. 
in Switzerland, that is where they get the image in South Africa, Johannesburg or Nongoma. And why you still have to go there? Hence, you can come to people, to people in KZN or in Johannesburg and procure what you wanted. Because in, rather than stamping out your passport for something that is already available at home. I need to say this. This is, this is my disclaimer. By far, let me start this. This is my disclaimer. By far, is in Yanga, I hear in KZN more than any in other uh, place. The best in Yanga you can find, the strongest motive you can find, it is in KZN. But I've got a reason. I did not say it is in Deben. I didn't say that it is in Netbank. I didn't say that it is in 19 floor, 1904, which means I'm not pointing myself above all is in Yanga in KZN. I'm the lowest in Yanga. Take notes, I'm always in Yanga, but I'm telling you the truth. Wherever you are, before you get misled, in KZN, that is where we've got the hub of Izinyanga. In KZN, that is where we've got Izinyanga. Reason why I'm telling you this. In KZN alone, compare this with any other province. In KZN alone, we've got more than 14 rivers. 14 rivers counting from Upongolo down to Umzimkul, we've got more than 14 rivers. In coastal, I'm talking about coastal rivers, not mainland, coastal rivers. We've got more than 15, which means those rivers alone, they've got something that you cannot ascertain anywhere else beside there. There's no other province has that. Come to forest, we've got so many forests compared to any other country, uh, county in, in, in South Africa. By far, we've got greater forest compared to anyone. That is why I'm telling you this, is in Yanga, by far, you only find them in Wazulu Natal. I am not pushing the envelope that I am the only one who's got a umuti, but I'm telling you, if you're serious about finding Inyanga, come to Babu Tokotela and then I'll give you the direction to where to find other Inyangas and if you want me to do that. But I, all I have to do is this. I have to tell you the truth as well. Because if I tell you this, someone else will tell you the lie. Stop rushing to go and get a calabash and bury it into a grave of a person that will never even clean. And there are people who've got mentality to look for the uh, easy gopu and find a grave and bury it. But you are taking this and burying it in your in, into your brother's grave, mother's grave, father's grave. But you never appreciate them. You never take time, waste time, and clean their grave, ungrass them, paint the rocks, clean it. But all you are rushing, I'm telling you, all you are rushing, you are rushing to abuse them by planting those calabashes with mootis so that you can invoke their power and make you rich. This is Babu Dota speaking. I'm telling you the truth because they don't tell you the truth. Okay, let me tell you this. I've got something that is prepared for two people only. Two people. If you are in Northwest, I've got something for you that costs 100,000 right I'll give it to you for free. If you are in Limpompo, I've got something for you that will cost 100,000 right but I'll give it to you for free. I've got what is called Abafan Abafishan. This umkovu thing, this legal thing, I'll give it to you for free if you're in one of these provinces, but you must book and ascertain a booking date and a booking number. A booking date and a booking number. Thereafter, I only need two people. Because when you land here, you must give me that number so that I'll know that I'm talking to the right person. I need you to come to Babu Tawotela and procure it. This thing that I am introducing to you, it, it is capable of bringing large sums of money into your house, into your room, into your wardrobe, into your cabinet, into your bag. You are just going to tell this thing where to put the money. Simple as that. But all I'm telling you, you are not going to pay. I'm only giving out two samples, that all. Two samples. Lastly, but not least, I want to tell you this. Maybe it may embarrass you. Stop celebrating your birthday as if it's your demigod. Remember this as a human being. Since you were born, March 26, 1982, 
On March 26, 1982, your mother was in agony because of the operation. Bridge operation, C-section, your mother was in pains. And every time when you think about it, celebrating your birthday, give love. Take all those gifts from your friends. Give it to your mother and let your mother select some and then keep it and then she can ask you to take the rest. Because the birthday, it's all about her. Who is the one who carried you for nine months and thereafter she delivered you and some parents, they die on delivery. And that is why take all the glory and pause it uh, over her and let her ascertain everything. She can give you some only if she feels like it. The birthday is not about you. The birthday is about your mother that you hate today. It's your mother that you don't even buy her a, a pack of tea bags. The birthday is about your mother that she never drive your car. Your birthday is about your mother who never swim into your swimming pool. But your mom-in-law has never stopped swimming into your swimming pool. She's using your jacuzzi. She's using your cars. Your mom-in-law enjoys everything. But your mother, who oh, today you've forgotten, she's crying. Because you and your husband, you are against her because what you did. You were not supposed to do what you did. For the fact that your mother has been fair to tell you the truth, today you hate her with a passion. Your mother sleep with dogs, but you don't sleep with dogs. You sleep with your family. You sleep with your parents. You sleep with your children. But your mother sleep with dogs because she's so scared. She cannot stay alone in that big house. She rather bought by dogs to guard her. But you can, you can do much better than that rather than letting dogs to look after your parents. She was your mother. She is the one who's supposed to be sitting with you in your lounge now, in your dining room now. But your mother now, there are dogs in your veranda that are guarding your mother. How do you feel that today dogs, they bark in order to prove that they are not sleeping? But you're sleeping in a house with sensors and cameras guarded by fidelity gods and ADT. You are a child. Who is your parent? And where is your mother? What were you eating last night? What she was eating last night? Now we are, we are on the verge of Passover. Your mother will be using public transport, but you'll be, your mom-in-law will be using your cars in order to go to church. This is Babu Dogodil. I am telling you because your parents, they come to me to complain about your attitude, people. And you are not being told the truth. I repeat, you are not being told the truth. Your mom has asked you for 100 rand for a sacrifice, for an offering for this Easter. And then you just ignored her because you were about to swear her. Your mom has been asking for 100 rand. Last night you drank almost 1,500. How much was your hennies? This is Babu Tawde speaking. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Uyazibuza banya baju benza ngani. Ufunde nabo. Usebenza nabo. Papila impilo epezu. Impilo gubo. Ilula. Kuena. Gulukuni gong. Kune fiso etile. Isi tualo se nyoga. Manja kosha ogunye. Ikone inyonga ye mali. Ibege enzini yotwa. Iwenzele izimang. Futi lega babu togotela. Aina bungus. Sietolega ala Enel Bring House. Ete gui. Noma. Sishayele gu 082-459-1816. Noma. Gu 076-55-55. 58577 Uba buto hotel Injo Ndogo Sogela